The Grand Palace, located in the Dune Sea Desert of Tatooine, was the infamous home of the crime lord Jabba the Hutt for centuries, until he was killed by Leia Organa. The castle soon fell into the hands of Bib Fortuna, who ruled as the successor crime lord for a few years, before he was murdered by Boba Fett and Fennec Shand, who took the palace for themselves. Although best known for being a crime haven, the palace was originally built as a monastery for the Bomar Order, a religious sect that sought enlightenment through extreme isolation, with the most devoted members having their brains surgically removed from their bodies and placed within nutrient-filled jars. These jars were either kept within the palace's deep catacombs or attached to droid walkers allowing the bodiless monks to move about. When Jabba and his cronies took control of the palace, the Bomar Order was allowed to continue their religious practices under the rule of the Hut Crime Lord, who found their disturbing rituals amusing. He also sometimes had his enemies made examples of by having their brains removed by the Bomar monks, with them later being kept alive as prisoners within the catacombs among the other living jars. On the near outskirts of the palace were sentry towers and weather beacons, which alerted the occupiers of the main building of incoming sandstorms. The tallest point was the communications tower, which also contained a surveillance room. The second, smaller tower contained a holographic map projector and observation deck. Underneath the second tower were the power generators, with the Bomar Order's brain jar catacombs only a staircase down from that point. The main entrance led the way into the lobby of the central dome of the palace, with the throne room being multiple levels underneath, requiring a journey through numerous staircases and hallways which resembled underground ant tunnels. Of course, walking to the throne room was only for the plebs, as Jabba the Hutt had elevators installed for his excellency to traverse the Grand Palace with ease, with them traveling to his private chambers located near the throne room, or to his sail barge hangar, which was on the other side of the palace. Underneath the throne room was the Rancor Pit. A couple hallways down from it was the kitchen, guard living quarters, dungeon cells, and boiler room where droids were either reprogrammed or turned into scrap metal. This underground labyrinth still contains some decorative elements of the Bomar Order, as well as tunnels of varying sizes spreading across the halls which had been dug either by thieves or sandworms. Near the main throne room was an area for esteemed guests to relax and feast in. This same underground complex also contained a spice mine, the Bomar Lecture Hall, and an abandoned chamber which contained precious gems of the religious order. Back to the main dome of the palace, the middle level of it was used primarily by the Bomar monks for medication practices and ceremonial rituals. The upper levels of the central dome contained a room dedicated for genetically grown treats for Jabba. Aside from that, most of the upper levels were dedicated for maintenance purposes and defensive measures with various weapon emplacements attached on the outer rings of the dome. On the rear side of the palace was the main hangar, which was underground, kept there among Jabba's personal sail barge were animal pens and workshops. Near the hangar's entrance was a scrapyard which accumulated all the junk that no longer was needed within the palace. This scrapyard was heaven for the Jawa inhabitants of Tatooine, with many coming into Jabba's service and working the technical jobs required within his palace. Overall, the palace was almost a mini-city with the amount of maintenance it required. Despite its majestic hallways and chambers on its main levels, the true power lay deep beneath, where Jabba felt more comfortable and secure from potential outside attackers.